Jonas here. Today I want to talk about music and what music does for your film. You just watched that little intro. Those were a few clips that I put together from a recent little trip that we did. I added some music just to give a bit of a feel. But what if I was to change the music to this instead? then I would be able to create a completely different feel. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. And then I also wanna talk about how you can get music for your film uh, in a cheap way. Uh, both getting it online, but then also how you can create your own music using some simple tools. Music can really help build a feeling in a film if it's used right, uh, just as much as it can have the opposite effect if it's not used right. I think this is worth pointing out because I feel that when we first get into filmmaking, we have a tendency to choose music that we like to listen to rather than what works best for the video. And one common example I feel is to choose really epic, grand music, even if the visuals that we're showing are not fully there. I don't want to sound negative or anything, but I think music like this would work best with really grand scenery or maybe aerial views. I really do like adding background music to the videos that we make, but the key is to not let the music take over. I know when we first start making films, we have a tendency to really turn up the volume. I know I did, but now I actually try to do the opposite, unless it's a segment where I want the music to be the only audio. But of course, sometimes the best thing for the video could be not to have any music at all. Before we move on, let me just say that I am not a musician. I wish I was, and I don't have a studio like this one with all the instruments. Uh, and even if I did, I probably wouldn't know how to use them anyway. Uh, this is actually just a music store down the road. Instead, this is actually what my office looks like right now. And with the stuff that I have in here, I can do pretty much anything that I need right now. I used a few different methods to get music for our videos. And it's probably no surprise to anyone that the quickest and easiest way is to buy finished stock music. There are numerous sites online that offer so-called royalty-free music. Royalty-free music means that you pay a one-time fee and then get to use that track in as many productions as you like for as long as you need. There's of course almost always a cost involved, but this cost is generally a lot cheaper than having someone record custom music for your film. Unless, of course, you know some cool musicians who would love to help you out. If you do buy music online, make sure you read through the license terms, because these can vary a lot depending on what kind of project you're working on and also how the video will be made public. These terms also vary a lot depending on the site you're buying from. Some sites may allow a music track to be used only a limited number of times, whereas other sites may allow you to use it as many times as you want after you bought it. I tend to prefer buying from the sites that give me unlimited use. Now the good thing is that if you're a student or a non-profit organization making videos for a non-commercial purpose, there are several sites that offer music for free. For example, Beatpick or Vimeo Music Store. You see here on Vimeo Music Store that it's free as Creative Commons, which basically means that you have to give credit to the creator of the music, but then also make your video available as Creative Commons. Old music, for example many classical pieces, can also end up in the public domain because the copyright has expired. And this is a good thing because it obviously means free music uh, and we just did a video on public domain and copyright, I'm adding the link right here. Uh, I suggest you take a look at it if you're interested and it will give you some uh, useful tips on how to get free stuff for your films. If you don't want to buy stock music or simply don't have the funds to do so, you always have the option of making your own music, of course. Um, remember that this video is supposed to be for those of you working with basic equipment and on a lower budget, so I'm gonna show you some simple and cheap ways that you can make music and still make it sound good. <laughs> So this is what I'm using right now. I have a laptop with some sort of music program on it. I have a separate screen, which is not necessary, but it is helpful. I also have a separate uh, microphone, which is really good to have. And I have a keyboard that can be plugged into the computer. Quite honestly, you don't need the keyboard. You can do everything you need to do using the keyboard on the computer. And uh, I gotta be honest, I, I don't actually use it that much. But sometimes it's really helpful. First thing, the easiest way to create your own music is to work with loops. These are short clips that have been pre-recorded by musicians and then made available for us. Many music programs, even pretty basic ones, often come with a set of loops that we can mix and match and edit as we want. 
I basically treat each type of loop as an individual instrument and then I put them in sequence. If you don't want to work with loops, you can always create music from scratch using the digital instruments that are included in the program. And this is when I use my keyboard, but again, you can always use the keyboard on the computer. It does take uh, quite a lot more time, but it is a lot of fun. And when you're done, you obviously created your own music piece from scratch too. It's just that you use digital instruments instead of real instruments. Again, each instrument will be its own layer. Whether you're creating music from scratch or working with loops, you just export the final piece when you're done and move it over to your video editing program. And the cool thing is you can actually download GarageBand to an iPhone also, so you can do a lot of this stuff on your phone as well. Or why not get really fancy and record sounds around you and piece them together right in your video editing program. I did a fun little piece with some friends of mine down the road who own a kayaking company. Loka calls himself a street drummer and just played on different kayaks. I ran around with my camera and microphone and recorded him play. I then took what I recorded, isolated a couple of drum beats, and then looped the different beats and put some on top of each other to make it sound like there was more than one drummer. And I did all of this right in the video editing program. It turned out pretty cool, I think, and at least the kayaking community really loved it. Clearly, this is only scratching the surface on the topic of music, but we'll try to get into more detail in later videos. Have fun with it, and think about trying to match the music to what the video is showing, but also what you want the viewer to feel when watching the video. Also remember not to let the music take over, especially when you have someone talking. You don't want the music to distract us from hearing what the person is saying, of course. This video is part of a group of videos that we're doing together with the Our Rock Project, where we try to provide some good tools to get you started in filmmaking. So go ahead and check out the rest of the series. Hope you like them. If you have any questions or comments, please send them over. We'd love to hear from you and good luck with your films.